Hello, it's Kathy here from Chilled Mama. Um, I'm popping on to invite you to join my January Wellbeing program called what's it called? Midwinter <laughs> Soul Warmer. Oh, I'm tired. This is I've gone on a bit later than planned, and I, I, I like as in I've started this live a bit later and planned, and I'll explain why in a minute. So I wanted to just explain what the um, Midwinter Soul Warmer is about, what happens and why, why do it. So, but I thought first of all I'd explain um, how it came about. So the Midwinter Soul Warmer is all about taking a little bit of time now in January, after the initial flurry of New Year, um, you know, we're all a bit tired, aren't we? About the Christmas busy festive season, all the stuff running up to Christmas. Then we had all the all going on thing going on over the holidays, and then it was New Year, and then we're getting the kids back to school, and we're you know, ourselves back to work, and we've got to you know clear up all the Christmas tree and the decorations and find places for all the new presents and we're also thinking ahead to the year ahead and thinking well what I bet a lot of us are thinking about our calendars and what we're doing in 2023 you might have got a new diary and you're thinking about what am I doing well you know when am I going to be doing these different things and also what what's going to happen and I think it's a really great time to just stop and think, which is why I said don't do any re don't do no New Year's resolutions, because New Year's resolutions are done, you know, based on what we think we should do, or you know what everybody else is doing, and not necessarily what fits right. And the only way you can really make resolutions is to spend a bit of time thinking about what you want and where you are, and so that's what the Midwinter Soul Warmer is about. It's about um, saying well letting go of 2022 first of all because that's good to just acknowledge what happened um think about the good the bad what we're taking from it and then say goodbye to it then we can focus here on where we are now and really tap into your what your and then let them leave time and space for your brilliant brain to sift through all of that to then give you some clarity and direction about where you're going and what you want from 2023 and possibly most importantly what you need to be able to do all that. Now, now I started, the reason I'm doing it is because I, this is what I did, I started 2015. Some of you will have come across my shining year um, by a uh, brilliant Australian woman whose mind's um, Leone so I'm sure there are some Leone fans in there and um, it, I've got one for 2016, 2017, I then went into my own so I've got 2018, 19, 20, I use one of my notebooks, I can't find 21 and this is 22's so each each year I have stopped in January and thought about myself, what happened in the year before and what I'm thinking about this year. And I just wanted to show you something. I've closed the page now um, about what um, I came across a great one of what I want in, 2000, in 2020, in 2015. Um, yes, I've given my gift of my sitting down. Oh, I know what it was. And then from this, each year I do a, I do a, um, a word of the year and it was stop for 2015. Um, and 2015 was the year that I stopped my job. Um, and yeah, and went full time doing Chilbama, not just to do Chilbama, but for other reasons. Um, and this is what I've tried to give you with the midwinter soul warmer. 
so you get this it's not as fancy as this yonis but there is spaces for you to write um there's the steps that we'll do there's spaces for reflections and i'll talk more about the different steps another time there we are spaces to write your reflections for the year write a letter to 2022 um and i've even got giving you some labyrinth finger labyrinths and we'll do in in the sessions i will guide you through these activities so there's a a finger labyrinth a different there's another one later on that's a different style um there's some ideas of things you might like to do in between sessions for example do a vision board and here's one i did a couple of years ago um so that you can do your own little version um your own bit of reflection um and i've already started on mine and i've my own reflections and i'm coming up with some really interesting stuff which i'll share with you another time so it's i love doing this myself and i just wanted to share it with you um it does start on thursday there's four sessions they're only half an hour three quarters of an hour the first one is we're going to do some relaxation and think about 2022 they won't be sharing unless you want to share it's going to be sort of quiet and content contemplative um you've got your notebook bring a pen that's all you need somewhere and have somewhere comfortable all online on zoom so the first session is thursday we do some relaxation the second session is on sunday evening again just half an hour three quarters of an hour they're all at eight o'clock in the evening um and then the next two sessions are the next two Sundays. So again, eight o'clock on Sunday. Sorry, I've just found out that the pottery throwdown is at the same time. I should have checked that. Um, the second session we're going to do full of finger labyrinth, and we're going to do a bit of um, a bit of writing for prompts, or just sitting and thinking about the prompts. Um, again, all on your own. You you can have your camera off. We're not. The idea is that you're I'm there to guide you through it, but you take what you want. The third session, the following Sunday, um, I can't remember what it is, but yes, <laughs> if you, there's going to be stuff. I'm going to be sharing more stuff, um, but the, basically, the third session is oh, the third session you can do some relaxation from yoga nidra. So that's all about first uh, it's about listening to yourself and then the fourth session is about thinking about the year coming up so we say goodbye first session say goodbye to 2022 the second session is just a bit of stock take where we are third session listening to your inner voice fourth session um is thinking about what we need for the year ahead it's there could only be one price for this so i'm charging 20 pounds and 23 pence if you are a um it's worth a lot more than that um but it just was the right price to charge uh, if you are doing my weekend retreat it's free which you've already know because i've already sent you an email um if you at the end of doing midsummer or during doing the midsummer midwinter soul warmer you think yeah i want to sign up for the retreats then um you get a discount because you've already me some money for this so anyway i will be in doing some more lives thank you for tuning in and um yeah i look forward to hearing any feedback you have i love that ta -ra.